Here's one. I doubt there's anyone who's gonna get that joke. As the time we show the maximum more, Mario Bros. Wii, the epic run. In this episode, we are going to be tackling the ghost house and the fortress, and the, basically the end of World 5. The last one we did some other stuff too, I guess. So, uh, let's just do the important thing here, and focus on the important stuff. That wasn't necessarily forced, but it was anyway. Anyways, this ghost house... Fairly simple. I mean, if you go through every door that you see straight away, you will find stuff that you need. Also, I screwed up. Never mind. <laughs> Speaking of finding things that I'll get casually, you can bring these live blocks around and you can see that there's a bunch of stuff around. Very interesting, intricate as well. Like, all of this stuff that you can see around here, all these ghosts and stuff, they're very spooky. And you can find them in the aisle store. You want to jump behind here for your first coin. Which is what I didn't do. I failed to do so. Through that light block of the boo, it's definitely going to kill him. Well, no, I don't think there's any way besides Star. I don't think there is one to kill a boo at all. So... But what do you want to do? Like, every single opening you see, you want to go down into it. So, you go into the first door, you drop off into it, and then you get your first coin. You see, you go down the first gap, and then you go back into to, uh, the other door to get to this next part. Which, if you don't have the thing, you probably wouldn't be able to see anyway, because you probably would just skip past it if you didn't hold the thing the entire time for your second coin. I swear that made no sense whatsoever. So let me just rephrase it with this example. You jump over here for your first door, you go down, and then you go down again for your second door and your second coin. You jump over it, and jump up. Uh, you can jump over this gap, but it's not advised because over here is your third door that you want to enter. And if you're wondering why I'm just falling down and not trying to go back out of it, it's because you are actually locked firmly down into this area as soon as you jump into it. And that makes a lot of sense, considering where you are. You're in a ghost house that's trying to trick you and it will very move. There's your last star coin, be proud. But anyways, what you can do, like, here's the thing. If you follow the doors exactly by checking every area as you're going through this, you could probably beat this entire mission very fast, because the exit door's right here. But what I want to do is go down here, which has the secret exit. And this may take a little while for you to think on your skill level. It took me a little while, definitely. I don't know why it took me a long time, but it just kind of did for some reason. So these switches will activate these light blocks, which I think we will be seeing a lot more of later. So I guess... Yay. We have more of these blocks to pick up. And this Boo wants to do some stuff which I choose not to do. And here's the last door. You just walk on through. It's very simple. And because we have all three of the star coins, I can just freely walk to the exit anyway. I mean, this is gonna happen anyway. Because. A lot of anyways, right? This is going to happen anyway, because you had to go to the secret exit anyway. I swear I'm not trying to say anyway a lot, but the secret exit has to be found out besides the point, because we are showing off all the things. And I don't remember if I actually did show off the secret exits in the other worlds. I'll check after this episode ends, because I'll have the opportunity to do so. Well, speaking of opportunities. We can use that cannon to go straight to the last level of the game. Or the last world of the game. World 8. Which, if you didn't already know, it was spoilers, I guess. World 8, it's the last one! But that's not necessarily the whole reason of be being here. That was actually quite a small jump. Yay! It wasn't that so exhilarating. We are now into the actual exit of this place. Which is not to the left. It's always to the right. 
Which, this X is actually kind of interesting because uh, everything's shifting around. I also have uh, no way of telling where I am, but I don't care because I'm here now, at the end. Now, if I focus, I can probably get through this. Never mind, there's no circle lose here. So I'm okay. Just hit the flagpole. It's alright! Mario time. Got some more drink to drink. Sounds fun. And now we have a path to those two platforms. So let's. Oh, you gotta block me there, alright? We have to go to the right. And I guess it's gonna run into me. <laughs> it's almost predict. Predict predictable. Predict predictable. Oh, now it looks like an M. They're changing up the stuff on us. These M's. Da -na 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 -da 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 -da. Be careful. Oh god, that was kind of scary. A little bit. Oh, I thought I was gonna die for sure. Oh. I wonder how big of a score I'm going to get by the end of this. It's quite large anyway. I mean, it's one of those things you kind of forget about anyway, because, like, why would you be focusing on a score in one of these games? It's, it's a regular platform, the scores have been phased out years ago after the arcades. I guess people really like to get high scores and brag about it on the internet. Not that I'm bragging or anything, I'm hardly the best player. But now it's time for the fortress, which I'm going blind into. And besides, I think it's gonna be really easy to do so anyway. <laughs> That's just stuff. Okay. Diggy's bringing his lemon back. I didn't even think it's Damn it, you! I trusted you. And you failed me. Damn magic. Magic man! How dare you. Yeah, it's fine, really. Providing you know what you're doing, you'll probably get a lot of stuff done. But I don't. So yeah. Okay, so that's nothing up there. As much as I wish to believe it ain't, or is. Hey, one of these. Might be good to have. Oh, they that ah. Okay, I guess you don't need it. De de definitely. But it'll be easier in the long run if you did have it. And an up door, which the door is very similar to other doors that exist. All right, this, where you have the platforms and the thing that goes up to here. Doll. Okay, that wasn't as hectic as I thought it was going to be, but you know, it's one of those things. It's a castle. It's supposed to be intimidating. Rawr! Because castles can roll. Now you know. WWE RAW! <laughs> Literally, I've explained beforehand how I question myself in terms of my jokes sometimes. But hey, just don't, just don't make these stupid jokes often. They're reserved for special occasions. Like, not now. <laughs> because if I didn't, then. <laughs> okay, I thought that I wasn't gonna end well. Just checking. You never really know with this. Okay, that might end up murdering my face. Dun dun da da da. Don't run into that dry boat now, that would have been horrible! <laughs> oh well. Mario has been burned. Very much so, that is. Let's just uh, check my items because I definitely have one. Oh, I have three now. Let's just go. Wait. That was a dog sleeping right by the camera. I went to look for it, and it's gone now. And now I'm spooked. Well, not really, because, well, the castle's it's supposed to be intimidating, man. Why am I doing the same thing? That was dangerous. And that's the last star coin. Uh, I guess I wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, that already wasn't that bad. In terms of, like, was where. He's, the, the balls of magic are... No, you can freeze them. The more you know, you can freeze the spells. I guess... If you have the build skills, you can pay them. And now we are going to be learning a little gimmick that's going to be happening. 
where you just kind of jump on the things. I'm sure there's a fire flower around here, probably at the bottom, at the base of the jumping. The, 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 the jumping. But hey, don't. There's nothing around. The only thing that's around is uh, Mario's kind of sliding with his ice powers. But here is, uh, you know, Lemmy, Iggy, I don't know who. Probably Zebediah, for all I know. With his giant chain chomp! Oh, that's so intimidating. You know how intimidating he is? Uh, he's already taken a hit. Although the chain chomp's gotta come right back and try and hit me. Exactly. And I was thinking, oh no, why did I jump back up again? Alright, uh, okay. Uh, here's, uh, why didn't I hit you? Okay, the chain chomp's pulling it along. Okay. Now he's turning around. Oh no, 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 no. This is gonna be happening a lot, isn't it? Oh, sh oh, okay. That was. Oh, why are you standing right beside him? No! Why? This chain chomp. Dude! No! Eh, it's not that heartbreaking. I only have to do, like, half a level again. Grab another star coin, or the same star coin. You know, yeah. It's easy, really. Let's get back to the boss fight. Hooray! Well! Okay. No, that is a thing now. Hooray! Yeah, Oh my, you sound so funny when you're in pain. Eat to go time. Don't jump immediately, that's how they get you. Let's try and go down here this time, see what kind of tricks and secrets they imply here. Another mushroom. Let's check my fairy. There is something here. Oh well. There we go. Back to boss! Let's punch Lemmy Koopa in the face. I'm sure it's Lemmy. Or Cedric. Hey, nice jump, Mario. You're good at jumping. And Gamish is gonna sprinkle his magic dust immediately on the box. Which, cool for him, I guess. He's doing whatever he wants. Okay, you can still get damaged by that. Oh shit, he's coming for me! Yeah. I didn't expect to make it out of that. Don't... Don't pull this shit on me. Come for me again. I'll stand here. For safety reasons. No, you don't! Oh, whoa! Okay. I'm overreacting, man. Oh, ain't I? Ain't I overreacting like a champ? Like a stinker? There we go. We killed him. Well, sent him to the depths or whatever, Rev. No, yeah. Let's just keep moving on, because the gate is opening! We could save our precious princess once again. Get out of here, Scrap. Jump! Nice jump. We're off! Mario, help me! I'll save you, princess. Just, uh, give me three more levels. That, that, that'll do it. Yes. That's definitely true. <laughs> How about that castle cleared? We move on to Star Coins World 5 being completed. Now we move on to World 6, Spire Rock Island. Well, it's not that, but yeah. With Morton Cooper Jr., one of the actual Coopers I know about. There's also another one, which is World 7, which, oh boy. If you know me, you'll probably know who this person is. But anyways, I'm gonna do the thing. I'm gonna check for secret exits and see how I actually got them. So, 
Slice skipping. Yep, pretty much looks like one of the secret exits as of right now. So, in the very next episode of New Super Mario Bros. Wii, the epic run, we will start with World 6, which is Rocky Mountain. I guess you could call it that. With all this stuff ahead of us, we have but one job and one journey to undergo and undertake. And that is kick Morton Cooper in his star eye pattern facey. Fast face goodness. Goodbye, everybody. Just bye.